Good evening, everybody. My name is Frank Salerso. I'm the director of sales for Nextigy. Uh, with is also uh, Javier. Javier oversees our WiMAX product. So we're here to introduce you to both our obvious VoIP product and our WiMAX product. So uh, in terms of the presentation, our apologies. Uh, the audio cannot connect to it. We have a bunch of videos to keep you entertained, so I'll try and do my best. But my apologies. So I'll get into it. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll get into the presentation. We'll start off right now. So basically what we can expect today is first we're going to introduce you to Nextigy. Now Nextigy is not a brand that's uh, brand new. We've been around since 2004. But the key is we're going to introduce you to the perception of what Nextigy is right now. We've changed a lot of things from people, processes, and product. We're operating under a brand new platform with an entire new team that's located in the United States. We're going to walk through our products and our platform. So you get an introduction to NetSapiens and how the product really works. Uh, an overview of what an XG set or installation is going to be, what your clients can expect, because that's the most important piece of this business is making our clients happy. And then the final process is walking you through provisioning. So we were founded in 2004, and we were just recently recognized by the governor as one of the fastest growing companies in South Florida and the fastest growing telecom company in South Florida. 1,500 businesses in the Tri-County area down here with over 15,000 users. Our largest clients ranging from about 1,900 uh, individuals to our smallest clients around three users specifically. Uh, one of the most uh, impressive parts of this company, in my opinion, is the fact that we had to listen. So I could come up here and I could tell you everything that's good about our organization, but that's not how we operate. We have to look at our flaws. So what was the biggest flaw of our organization? And hands down, it was the fact that our customer service was located in South America. Our company was initially founded in South America in 1999, and we kept our customer service there. If you go ahead, and I encourage you to look at Nexig reviews, you'll see bad review remarks relative to customer service from 2010 to 2013. Why would I tell you that? Why would I point out a negative? I'd point out a negative because we turned it into a positive. As of January, we completely uh, demolished our team in the South American region and our entire customer service is located in Coral Gables. Not just our entire customer service but our entire infrastructure from development to support executive staff are all located in Coral Gables, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa Bay or Orlando. So we listen to our customers and we listen to our partners and that was the overwhelming demand that, that was our flaw as an organization. So that started in January and was completed just around helped us with our churn number and why is churn important? Well, we offer an evergreen residual. Our churn numbers are less than 2%, roughly 1.3% annually. Uh, our focus is our clientele, is your clientele. That's the sole goal and objective is to make clients happy. How can we make the process from switching from one provider to another provider as seamless and as simple as possible? Uh, and as I just mentioned, we were just recognized by Governor Rick Scott. Uh, we have five markets that we operate in, two markets that have our WiMAX product. Right now, Miami uh, and Broward counties, and then Tampa St. Pete areas are operating on our WiMAX product. Soon to be Orlando and Jacksonville following behind that. So um, for us, obviously, you know, you can reach out to, to TCG to, sp to figure out the residual structure for each of you. But we offer up to 200% MRC up front. Now one of the things that we just instituted over the last two months was a means of creating a true partnership. So if you look at the sense of a partnership, uh, it's you provide us a client, we take care of your client, and we provide you money. That's basically what a partnership has looked like. We've tried to change the way that that process has worked. So for those of you that don't know, we have 37 direct sales agents. Roughly about 45% of our business is made directly sold. The majority of those clients have no IT vendor, have nobody to look to. Uh, they're small businesses, some of them larger than you would expect not having an IT on-site vendor. So what we have is a program, it's a give and take program. We will provide you the ability to install our clients, bearing the fact that you pass a very simple training course that takes no more than two hours, and we'll give you the ability to install our clients, making 100% MRC with no affiliation with the sale whatsoever, but give your business the ability to get a lead and a possible clientele. So this program was launched about two months ago. Since then, we've had about 30 people sign up and have actively installed our product. So that's one of the key differentiators of us. We want to help your business grow. We want to help contribute to other local small businesses within South Florida to help them increase their client base. And obviously that develops a really healthy working relationship. Clearly the payment will come as well, but we feel like this is the best opportunity. 
Now, in the last two months, our channel partner sales off of our new channel partners have skyrocketed because talk is cheap, but the one thing is, if we can back it up with supplying you actual clients and leads, uh, it's proven to be extremely successful. So, this is one of those entertaining videos I was gonna show you, so we're gonna pass over that. So we're gonna introduce you to our product. Our product is very simple. Is anybody familiar with the NetSapiens platform? No, and that's very common. Uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with NetSapiens. So what Net NetSapiens key differentiator is as a platform is the fact that it's not an a la carte menu. Our advanced PBX line includes all PBX features that one would expect. From comprehensive call center reporting and statistics, from full call queues, unlimited amounts, an unlimited amount of auto attendance and tiers, call recording, advanced supervisor monitoring, barge in, live listen, take over the call, individual statistics on both a user level, a queue level, seasonality by hours, a full comprehensive breakdown of how your business would operate as a call center or any feature that your typical VoIP provider is going to provide. We'll give you everything from your typical, obvious, find me, follow me's, your answering rules, your time frames, to have your auto attendant switch over. But every single feature, with the exception of long distance, is included in our plan at $24.99. There's not a feature out there that you can find in the void market that's not included in this price. And I'll give you a nice walkthrough of exactly what that product looks like. Now, I understand one of the pain points in the industry is, well, why aren't you including long distance? I'm going to step back for a second. So we were founded in 1999 under a brand called Soliyama. We were the third largest international carrier of minutes uh, in South America specifically. We still hold very strong relationships with some of the largest wholesale international providers in the country. The reason why we don't have an all-inclusive product at $24.99 Unlimited is because of basic usage. We look at the amount of usage that a business uses and we bill it at either half a penny or a penny a minute. And we're able to find that 99% of, 98% of our clients actually save more money than moving to an unlimited plan. It's just simple bill analysis that we do. I understand a lot of companies out there are going to have a $24.99, a $19.99, or a $29.99 unlimited line. And business owners like that comfort. They like the feel of that. But realistically, when we dig into the bill analysis, we're able to find time and time again with the full featured line in a non a la menu that we're able to save customers considerable amounts of money compared to a lot of our competitors. Now we also have another product, which is our limited advanced PBX line, full featured, including everything, for $34.99, if you have a customer that wants that. Since we have created the unlimited plan, we've sold one. Uh, because again, the model makes sense. That's why we're doing it. Because based off of the billing structure that we run into, obviously, uh, we want to skew towards what the market needs. And once we sit down and do bill analysis, we found time and time again that we're able to save the customer the most amount of money. On top of this, it includes a free Grandstream 1610. So the Grandstream 1610, I'll introduce you to it, but your customer will get free hardware and free phones at the $24.99 price point, all included. Uh, no setup costs and, hold on, no setup costs and no installation fees are with that. Remember, the installation is handled by either ourselves or to a partner we delegate that installation to. Obviously, we have the features of a soft phone. I'm not going to go into the specifics and talk to you about a soft phone. It has basically the same functionality of any single one of the other ones that you work with. The soft phone that we utilize is Bria Stretto. So we are developing our own in-house product, which is why I'm not going to dig into that, because that product is going to be included in our $24.99 price point. But I'll do one slide on the, on the soft phone just so you can see. Again, call center solutions is what I'm going to walk through with you to show you exactly what our portals can do and what we can help a business with. And then finally, our introduction of WiMAX. Our coverage for those that are in the South Florida market, it's all the way from the Metropolis building down in Dayland Mall, all the way up to Pompano Beach, and then St. Pete and Tampa Bay. Full coverage in that area, but obviously a line of sign product. So there'll be a couple things that we'll talk through with that. Go ahead, Paul. So what's included in our offering? And then I'm gonna dig into the portal a little bit and walk you through with it. But everything from an auto attendant, unlimited local calling, admin portals, whatever perspectives you would like. We have call center portals, office manager portals, and user portals. An unlimited amount of hunt groups, call queues, whatever you would like included. Three-way conferencing, an unlimited amount of conference bridging. So any business that is popular with conferencing, a lot of businesses are using third-party software. So we have an entire easy-to-use portal that allows you to create a conference bridge with the click of a couple buttons 
you can have an unlimited amount of users with absolutely no usage charge with that. Obviously the basic functions in a voice to voice provider world of three-way conferencing, call forwarding, find me, follow me. We supply toll numbers for apps absolutely free uh, and they're billed at three cents a minute per incoming minute. On top of that, we give the obvious benefit of disaster recovery. Our phones can be plugged in at any place with obvious connection to the internet and they'll be working up and running with no restrictions. We offer music on hold and queue marketing, all of this included in the plan. So a lot of business owners have found that if they put a queue marketing message in front of their on hold music, that it's increased their conversion. So we take the DID, the phone number, and we put it into a call queue, and we play an introductory message or a marketing message for that client. And the client's able to increase their conversion across the board. Uh, one of the great features that's added in, and I'll kind of give you a walkthrough of that. And then obviously voicemail to email. For our call center services, customized call reporting, monitoring barge in, and full reporting tools are what we're going to walk through. It's easy to say it, but I want to really show you all that comes in with the $24.99 product. Uh, any questions so far? Beautiful. All right, so simple add-ons would be VFAXs. We include, for a promo, one VFAX. Everything on top of that is a simple $9.99 product. We offer an international business plan. Now, obviously, being in South Florida, the majority of our clients, they have some form of international business. Uh, our international business plan is handled through tier one routing only. The rates are fantastic, and it's over to 30 countries, including China, Israel, the majority of South America, Latin America, and the key countries in Europe at $24.99. We'll have a takeaway list for all of you on that. On top of that, we offer international virtual numbers to the majority of the countries, uh, except for the one-offs. But the international virtual number, for those that don't know, it's a number provided in a country allowing you to give local presence. For instance, in Venezuela, I would get a Venezuelan number. My customers feel the local presence, and the call is forwarded to the United States. Simple product, $19.99. And then what I talked about bundling the long distance, we do bundles of 1,000 minutes billed at a penny per minute, and we just basically analyze the customer's bill cycle and identify how many of those packets, and then we assess that on the bill specifically. Go ahead, Paul. So our soft phone has all the features that you would expect, from chatting to video calling, click-to-call dialing from your browsers, and you can manage all of your businesses. I assume most of you know the basic benefits of a soft phone. Obviously, right? It allows you to mask your phone number. It allows you to receive your calls outside of network. Just like any other provider, our product is going to allow for the same answering rules. I can keep my call in network. For instance, if the call comes to you and you're out of the office, after three seconds or five seconds, if the call is not picked up, it kicks back to the origin of where the call came in, allowing me to keep calls in my network. Uh, soft phones can be standalone products, but again, we provide free hardware. We provide free phones. We also have other phones that we can introduce you besides the Grand Street, but the soft phone right now is a $299 add-on. Uh, within the next couple months, our own product and our own soft phone is going to be developed specifically and it's going to be included at the price point that I've talked to you about for $24.99. Go ahead. Uh, does it go over a cellular network or data? Uh, it, it goes over your data, basically. And, and the new one? Yes, and the new one, exactly. Uh, so the new one's in beta mode, it's almost completed, it's been a long project working on, uh, but we have about 10 developers, uh, night and day on it. So once that's done, we'll introduce you via a virtual presentation to show you the soft phone. But that will be included at the $24.99 price point. Right now, this is the only product that we have to license out, so that's why the add-on comes into play. Alright, so, I'm going to actually walk over to the computer right now because I want to show you what our call center solution looks like. All right, so first things first, what we're going to dig into is we're going to dig into the Nexigy sales center portal. Uh, we found that one of the biggest businesses that benefits from our product would be an inbound call center. We do not supply call centers that operate off of a dialer. So that's just food for thought on that. So, and I'm going to focus this a little bit because I assume this is going to be difficult so for this you to Who's helping me out with Zoom here? Is it best as I'm going to get it? Okay. All right, so 
Welcome to our blurry portal. I assure you that it looks a lot better on the, the computer screen. So what you're seeing here is just a basic first view. You're going to see basic reporting with a number of different uh, metrics that you would like to see. From calls handled to calls abandoned, average handle time, average abandon rate. And again, you can look at this on a queue level, on a rep level, on a business level, however you'd like to break it down. It also gives you a live screenshot into each of your queues. You actually seen a live screenshot in one of the Nexus queues right now. It's going to show you how many customers are waiting, how many agents are available in your queue, the average wait time of that agent, and then it allows you to edit options. So it's basically called in a call center environment workforce management. It's a workforce management tool that allows a customer to simply say, uh, it allows them to evaluate their seasonality, staff adequately, and quickly move over to people in queues. We also offer automatic call distribution. So if this queue has too many calls on hold, I set a predetermined feature which says if a call is on hold for over 45 seconds, I fail it over to another level. You have automatic call distribution on a location to location basis, a queue to queue basis, a queue to agent basis, whatever you would really want that call routed. There's a number of call reporting and statistics that you can see. This is just an active call graph, broken down by hours and amount of calls throughout the day. You'll see presence on both the right side of the screen and right here. The benefit to that is this allows you, whenever somebody goes red, it says they're on a call. As a call center supervisor, or if I'm an office manager and I just have a high trading business, and whenever I onboard somebody, our product allows you to hover over this name, listen into the call, I can monitor it and just listen, I can actually jump into the call and take the entire call over, or I can coach the person talking to them without the customer having any knowledge of that situation happening. I can also see advanced statistics on each user on a daily basis, on a yearly basis. And that's what I'm going to get to right now. So I'm going to show you what our reporting tool looks like. And our reporting tool is very simple and easy to navigate. All of this is exportable via Excel. So the reporting tool will pull up and it's going to ask me a couple key questions. What do I want to look at? For instance, right now this is a specific call queue. So I picked one call queue. It's showing me the call volume. Now I can look at a number of features from calls offered to calls handled, uh, how many went to voicemail, average talk time, basically any metric you could think of with a phone system, you can have in this report specifically. It allows you to break down on a user level or a queue level. So if I want to see the performance of one of my agents, I go to agent stats, it's going to break down the comprehensive reporting of everybody logged into that queue specifically, and it's going to give me enhanced reporting, exportable via Excel, and you can pull it back for well over a year. Any questions on the reporting products here? No? Beautiful. Um, and then obviously abandoned calls. What we found is one of the best features of this call center reporting that customers really enjoy is the fact that a lot of customers have trouble quantifying their amount of abandons and quantifying the times that those abandons happen. Yes, I might be able to see the amount of missed calls I have, but this report right here shows how many calls were abandoned in a specific queue based on certain times. This allows a business to do quick analysis on their phone system, their calls, their marketing, and see I'm losing X amount of business here or X amount of business there. It's a feature that you can't quantify in a monthly reoccurring cost. It helps a business's bottom line and it adds on to their savings that comes with uh, switching to a company like ours. So on top of that, I talked to you about the ability to create conferences. So even though it's completely blurry, I'm gonna have you trust me here. I can add a conference, create a name, Assign an extension and a PIN number. You can have an unlimited amount of users call into this extension with no usage whatsoever. You can have a number of specific conference lines, an infinite amount within here. So that's an added feature included, and you can have it both in network or out of network specifically. Music on hold, obvious, I'm, I'm, I'll jump through this. But our call history, this is where you're going to be able to see call recording samples. So our call recording is stored for 100 hours for three months on basic usage for any given business. Our call recording can be exported, meaning I could find this call that I want to save for more than three months, I hover it over it, I promise you that says download right now, and I download it to my system. I can also live listen to it from the portal right there. This allows a business to easily search for any phone number. For instance, if you file a complaint and I want to audit the number, 786-555-5555. I type in the number, it's going to show me every single call that came in from that number, and it's going to allow me to quickly audit. It's going to allow me to hold my employees accountable. It's going to also allow me to protect my business. 
One of the th things we found being in the market is we get put up a lot of times against providers that can add reporting as a cost. But once they have this ability, they found that they're, obviously their employee onboarding is sped up. Their employee accountability, because everybody's held to a reported standard, has improved. And obviously their ease of use on handling customer complaints has sped up. And it protects their businesses. On an individual user's account, this is what a sales center agent would see. They have the ability to go offline, online, single call mode, lunch break, meeting, or other. You can track their statistics on all their lunching, their breaking, any time of coaching. Uh, and then they can do comprehensive reporting. And I can dig in here, and every business has their own kind of fit. And I can say, I want to do a call of disposition. And I want to say they refuse the offer, or the customer decided to buy. Why did the customer not buy? I can put a number of reasons. Every business can create their own. And I can export that. And then I can analyze all of my call flows. So it allows you to have an basically a CRM included in for your business uh, for $24.99 per seat. So this is our call center walkthrough, and again, all of those metrics are exportable. Uh, our call centers absolutely love that functionality. I used to run a 550 person one myself, so I can tell you for the price point and for what this gives you, it's one hell of a deal. Uh, any questions on this? Beautiful, all right. So I'm gonna introduce you into our next portal. Our next portal is just the basic office manager portal. So it's going to be something that obviously they don't need any call center features. But this is what your the majority of your businesses that you're dealing with are going to have. It's kind of a bit more um, on a, I'd say about 90% of our businesses move to a portal like this. So the NetSapiens portal is extremely easy to navigate. I can hover over all the live calls that are going on at this moment and listen in. Again, for onboarding purposes, coaching, whatever it might be. I can see my calls per hour and advanced statistics on my company. I can obviously go in and I can change every user's name. I can click the user button, I can search anybody given anybody's name in the organization, and I could change their answering rules. I could change their voicemail. I could change their time frames. Whatever it might be with the click of a button. On top of that, we already talked about our conferences. Conference bridges are extremely easy to create and provide value and allow you not to have to use a third party system. Our auto attendant is one of the easiest things that you can set up. Our auto attendant is, and I'm going to actually, Tom, if you could click the auto attendant button for me, please. So the auto attendant button, right there, oh, there, it there it is. All right, so click that for me. Loading. Yeah. All right, and then click edit this for me. And again, you can't see it, so it's very difficult. My apologies. Okay, so basically with an auto attendant, you have all the basic functionality that you want. It can go to a direct user's extension. It can go to a call queue, English, Spanish. It can go to an outside extension. It can go to a voicemail. It can handle voicemail management. The basic functionality is with additional tiers. So obviously if I click Spanish, it's going to pop me into another tier. All of this is included. And as you can see here, we're running multiple auto attendants. For your multiple location facilities, this is obviously a key plus not being a la carte and added on to your bottom line. Uh, were we able to click into that? I can't see. Okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. So, and then for call queue specific. So, it's all right, Paul. I'll slide over there. You can't change the resolution. Change the resolution. I don't have glasses. Glasses don't help. No, no, no. Tell me I have glasses. <laughs> Okay, so then call queue specifically. <laughs> so if we look at call queue, and I understand you can't see this, but if we look at a call queue, we have five different ways of routing a call to a specific person. Now this can be a call center, or this can just be a basic office. We have five different routing ways. Obviously a rain off, right? I want it to rain to this table. If that fails over, it can then rain to this table. I can have a linear hunt, assigning a priority. One, two, three, four, five, six. As the call comes in, you're on a call, you're on a call, you're not. The call goes there. A linear cascade is assigning, it's gonna look for all of these tier one agents, then look for these tier two agents, and then look for these tier three agents. Uh, call parking, and then a round robin. A round robin, very simple. Whoever's been idle the longest, that's exactly where the call's going to go to. You have the ability to record calls on that entire queue. You have the ability, which you can't see, to send it to voicemail if the queue is full. 
and you have the ability to play a message to the agent. So for instance, say I want to get DIDs across the country. I want to get local presence in Washington State or California or Idaho. I can put that number into a queue and I can have a message played to the agent, Idaho caller, allowing for the agent to handle the call appropriately. Again, all of this, you can see statistic analysis. Oh, we're getting better. Uh, you can see analysis on this that providing a message to an agent up front when the call is received has helped businesses increase conversion and enhances overall customer experience time and time again. So I'll keep walking over because I forgot to tell Paul to bring his glasses. So within the queue, you have a number of options that you can do. You can monitor how much time somebody's on the call for. So I want to limit the amount of time, let's say one minute somebody's in the queue for. I can put the max queue length, how many people are in that queue. And then off of that, I can assign a way that the call is going to be routed. So for instance, I don't want anybody in the queue for over a minute. If it does, it's going to fail over to an extension of my choice or a voicemail of my choice. The max queue length, I only want somebody to be in there for five minutes or I only want 10 users to be in there. How do I want my call routed after that? Great functionality included in there, of course. And then allowing a customer a callback option. So allowing them the ability to be called back in a predetermined order is also a key function right there. On top of that, to mention, our auto attendant is also for the ability for dial by name because that's a popular feature. So, jumping into this, and if anybody has a question, uh, feel free to jump into it. Um, the user account. So I've kind of talked through all of our features of the portal specifically, but a user sees a condensed version of this. They're able to check their voicemails, they're able to check their call history, and they're able to set up their own answering rules of call history. On an office manager level, on a user level, they have the same functionalities, except the user level can't change the auto attendance or the call queues. But if a business owner comes to you and this is the call center of the business, this is the office manager and admin side, and this is just the general area, I can basically pick whatever profile I'd like per user, and this would be all pre-provisioned. It would be set up and everybody has a different display. There's not a different price cost, there's not anything involved with it. It's all included. Trying to make our experience from the presentation to the customer to the end goal as simple as possible. Because they basically pick what they want, but they have everything if they choose to turn it on or off. Any questions? Beautiful. I have a question. Go ahead. Who does the provisioning? Our provisioning is handled in-house. So, and I'm going to talk about that actually. So. We initially had project coordinators that were located in South America. Uh, and that was obviously a pain point, right? So we transitioned our entire project coordinator team into the United States. Uh, we have uh, right now five project managers. And what we have just done in the last three weeks is we've trained our entire customer support team, again, located in the United States, on the ability of handling any customer concerns, needs, handled with provisioning. So the second the provisioning has installed the customer, anybody from a project manager to support can handle every single issue. We have full detailed reporting systems to understand every setup of a user's account. And to kind of give you an example, for instance, say I talk to my project manager, once the project manager is installed, anybody can take the call. So all of a sudden, now, your customer calls in or you call in and you say, listen, my customer has a concern, the auto attendant's supposed to be configured this way. Anybody within the organization out of the 14 people can click in there, see exactly the notes, and be able to handle the question without having to wait for a project manager or coordinator to come to the line. Uh, so you can expect an instant call and pick up the second somebody calls in. Go ahead. Is it 24-7? No. That's a great question. So in that sense, we don't work well with restaurants or businesses that operate 24-7. Our, our hours of operation are from 8 in the morning to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and then customer service operates from 10 to 4 on Saturdays. For major accounts and larger accounts, we operate 24-7. Major accounts defined as 40 plus lines, or uh, let's say uh, a Miami Fire Police or something along those lines that would need that support predetermined. So we have the ability to, but we've done extensive analysis on our customer groups and have found that the majority of businesses don't. Uh, but that's something we're, we're able to talk to you on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, and we try to be as flexible as we can. And that's the ability of us being small we're able to be nimble. Uh, so on one-off occasions, feel free to, to talk to us about that. But great questions. Go ahead. Your uh, voicemail to email, does that have uh, speech to text? No, it does not. Our voicemail to email, the way it works is the voicemail is sent as either a hyperlink or it's sent as an attachment to the email specifically. It does not transcribe it. So, but good question. They can choose the folder of its choice of where they want it sent. Uh, they can have five independent email addresses, 
or email distros that allow them, obviously, to extend the amount of emails that they can get one extension to voicemail to. A very good question. Go ahead for me. All right, so now an introduction to our phone. So we offer a Grand Stream 1610, and I had a nice three minute, four minute video to talk to you about the Grand Stream so I can stop talking and you can see something to entertain you. Uh, but we don't have audio, so I'm going to talk to you about it. But Paul jumped through for me. So the three phones that we offer are Yaylinks, Grand Streams, and Polycoms. Uh, obviously, Polycom is the name that, that everybody loves to trust, so we offer that. Our free model is the Grand Stream one, and I want you to introduce you to it, because a lot of people don't know about this phone specifically. So the Grand Stream 1610 is the model that we provide for free. Now this is under the assumption that they're under either a one or a two year contract, but the Grand Stream 1610 is Bluetooth compatible, it's got an intercom across, which is a great added feature, as long as you have these phones. It's headset ready and it has three-way conferencing. We have found that over 80% of our clients' lines, since we've introduced this product, have taken this phone specifically, with great feedback. Obviously, you're not going to have your polycom feel to it, right? We have that option for you. It's a free phone. We have demonstrations and we, we give our channel partners demo phones so that they can see this phone specifically. But we have our, our reps go out there or our channel partners go out there, plug in the phone into their system, it's provision, and they can test the audio themselves and see that the product is extremely reliable. And again, 80% of our, of our lines that we've signed since introducing this product have been this phone specifically. So, go ahead. How many, how many lines can you take? Two. I can handle two calls and I can conference in a third call. Uh, this is not a phone for a receptionist. This is not a phone for somebody that's handling six calls. We have a number of phones that we'll talk about now to run you through that. And those would be your VVX series. We offer the VVX 300, 310, 400, 410, 500, and the 600. So everybody knows about those phones. I don't think I'm going to go into them and, and, and really talk about them. I think we skipped a screen call. Okay. We also offer Yay Links. The Yay Links are going to be uh, another multi line phone, great for receptionists. The Yay Link T46 and T48 allow for an expansion module, and this is one of our favorite phones. It's the Yay Link T52 Dex phone. It's PoE. So you have a base, you plug in that base anywhere you want in the facility, and then the handsets get dropped without the need for a CAC 5. Deck technology, so it goes for 1,000 feet. Our feedback on that phone specifically is absolutely fantastic. So anybody that needs wireless headsets, it is a beautiful feature to talk to them about. Uh, so that's our Yay Link series model. Moving into the Grand Streams, we have a Grand Stream handset model. I would highly recommend the Yay Links because it's a fantastic phone. Uh, and then we offer a couple Grand Stream wireless, Android capable. Uh, these are your full featured executive level phones if they want to display something. Uh, not the most commonly sold phone. Basically, it's Polycoms and our entry level Grand Streams with the A-Links would be our, our most prevalent one. It's a fantastic question. So the phones that we support right now would be Polycoms. So the Polycom VBX series, the numbers that I mentioned to you, the sound stations, which would be the five, six, and seven thousands, and then the sound point four fifties and five fifties. Other than that, a customer needs to move over to our phones to transition to our platform. We have a couple options for them. They can go to a reseller for the phones, or they can get our phones and put their phones on the open market, but we have resellers that can handle and get fair market value for those phones specifically. Uh, does that answer? Yeah, okay. You guys do uh, like a rent to own or purchase outright or you can purchase outright or you can lease so either option for you obviously the free phone it's returned upon your your end of the uh, term but you can lease the phones or you can purchase the phones outright our markup is minimal it's all about reducing barriers of entry for your client so again we have no setup costs on a two-year we have no installation fee on a two-year we offer a free phone that over 80 percent of our users take and then on top of that, we offer leasing, upfront, and minimal markups on the phones to ensure that your customers aren't shelling out a ton of money. I knocked this out, my apologies. Shelling out a ton of money before getting their phone system. Uh, and then on top of that, we have an a la carte menu. So if they want to add on a feature at a later time, it's just us turning it on or them utilizing it. And that's the key differentiator of us. Go ahead, Paul. For the receptionists, you know, we offer a portal with virtual live presence of everybody that you saw there who's available, who's not available, who can get a call. But if somebody wants the line presence ability to be able to send it, we offer the Polycom expansion module, which works with the VDX series. And we offer the A-Link, which, uh, which works with your 
two Yealink models, the 46 and the 48. The Yealink supports 40 extensions. The Polycom supports 84. Same thing. Lease, own, whatever they would like to do with this product. And those can be added onto themselves. They just kind of click on and you can continue to add on. If you have somebody that wants, you know, an old switchboard with 200 extensions, they have that capability. Uh, any questions on the phone so far? Okay, nice icebreaker video that was coming in here that was going to kind of lighten up the mood, but the video's not there, so we'll digress and we'll jump into it. So, what happens after you have your customer sign? That's the key thing. You want your customer to feel as minimal hesitation as possible. You want their transition to be seamless and easy. And this is something we've worked on very aggressively over the last six months. And aggressively is an understatement. To make sure that the process is as clean as possible. So, you have a provisioning rep assigned. In-house, in Nexigy, it's our provisioning rep. They're assigned. And the sales rep, or yourself, um, actually you'll be giving it to your provisioning rep, uh, handles a pre-provisioning document that's shared amongst all parties that need to see it. You see who's assigned to what task. Who's assigned to setting up the auto attendant? Who's assigned to setting up the users? Everything is broken down so the communication is flawless within Nexigy and outside of Nexigy to your client. After that, we work on shipping the phones. Phones take about three to five days to get to the facility. After that, what we will do is we'll have an installation happen. If you've supplied it and you would like to install, you have that right and we'll give you additional MRC for it. If you do not want to install, no problem. We'll have somebody come there and install and not charge your customer for anything related to Nexigy. That's on the house, that's for us. Once the phones are installed, it's very simple. We have from the wall to our phone, to their phone, to the computer, one clean line. During that process, it's testing. We'll put it in for the port, but right now what we're doing is we're testing. We're testing your extension to call your extension. We're testing international members calling in. We're testing every functionality that a business is going to need for that period. Uh, uh, so again, so right now we're in the provisioning phase and we're basically handling the every single aspect of the test. Because the second that the port is put in, we want to make sure that the transition is seamless, the phones are unplugged, and your customer is set up, and that's the last time you have to hear from anybody. You want the process to be efficient and seamless. Your customer at any given time, at any point of this, can dial 611 and directly reach our support or 1-866-NEXAG1 from an outside phone if they have any issues, concerns, or comments and immediately reach any rep. At the point of their installation, anybody in customer service or project management can handle their concerns. It's not one project manager for a 15-day period, which is what we used to do. But we wanted our customers to get the presence that when they can call, somebody's going to be able to pick up their call and know exactly how their account's being handled. And that was changed as of two weeks ago. So there's about 14 people at any given time of the day that they can call into and know exactly what's needed on their account. Question. If we opt for next to do the install, do you guys hire third party to do it or is it guys coming next to G cars, next to G shirts? So for our uh, internet product, it's always going to be next to G. Every single time, we will not outsource that installation whatsoever. Other than that, we have preferred channel partners like yourselves uh, that are specifically trained set up and they went through a rigorous course because obviously they're representing our company. So that's needed prior to any installation. So somebody goes through everything. On their first install, they're obviously walked through with a provisioning rep. Their hand is held and they have a virtual training done alongside of it. Uh, you're more than welcome to join any of our trainings, uh, but somebody will do it and they're certified through and through, just like any of our engineers would specifically. But that's a great question. Why don't you uh, go through the basics on how easy it is to actually set up the system? Anybody can set this up. I, I just walked you through the portal. Anybody literally can go into our portal, set up their auto attendance, their voicemails, everything you can fathom. Somebody could set up here with minimal experience or knowledge in this. Uh, that's how easy our portal really is. But they don't have to. Every single concern that a customer ever needs can be handled by our team. And they call in whenever they like. There's no charge for it. And they're speaking to somebody in Miami, Florida in their backyard. All of the issues are handled virtually, but any setup can be taught with somebody in a matter of minutes. I could teach somebody how to use this portal in less than 15 minutes specifically. Uh, it's not a difficult process. Go ahead, Paul. So, the phones arrived into business, they're already provisioned. The way that the setup works or the basic install is, I take out the phones out of the box, set them up, put in their station, I plug it in. Phone's provisioned and phone goes live. At that point, you're testing the phone. You're calling one extension to the other and calling outside extensions. 
you're setting up uh, lamp presence if they want to see extension specifically. Basic, basic features. We want to make sure data is prioritized over voice, obviously. Uh, and then that's up to you on the network, if you're configuring this, to identify if they want to run their Nexa G phones on our Wi-Max, which is obviously preferred, or if they want to run it on the redundant connection, or if they want to do load balancing. That's up to you on your side. But we obviously want to make sure that the, that the network is set up ideal for our product. Uh, now that's on a case-by-case -case basis, but rest assured, if you provide a customer, the person that will be coming out there, the teams that we have are fully capable of handling that. So you're, the only bandwidth you're installing is your Wi-Max and you're putting your voice over IP over your own Wi-Max? Yeah, well, if they can get the Wi-Max, yes. But we also offer uh, Verizon files where applicable, not necessarily in this area, and AT&T MIS. But we work great with Comcast, we work great with uh, any of the providers, the key metric there is latency. Uh, that's really what it is, not download and upload. And what our sales reps will do, or in your case, is we'll look for a screenshot for latency tests at key points of the day to make sure that your customer has a uh, sufficient connection. We're not in the business of wanting to install somebody to have them be very upset at us. So we like to do our own testing beforehand before the customer gets installed. There's no point for us to set your business up and all of a sudden you're having increased packet loss uh, the situation isn't good. We always say bad word of mouth travels 20 times faster than good word of mouth. It's all about making sure that everything is handled in the beginning, that we've done the testing, that we made sure that your customers are taken care of. Because we understand, if we get to that process and we're getting packet loss and we're getting issues and there's troubles that could have been avoided beforehand, that's the last time you're probably gonna work with us and it's going to look bad on your reputation to your clients. That's the last thing we wanna do. That's very bad business. Uh, now, our WiMAX product, which Javier is going to introduce you to, is lit up the majority of our South Florida area. It's a fantastic price point, allows for a business redundancy, and then obviously we manage that network. We're able to, to audit that network to make sure that the voice is running over the cleanest network possible, obviously the ideal situation. After that, there's a training on the portals. Now, this is normally where I would get in depth and I would talk to you about training on this, but any of you are welcome to join one of our trainings. You can reach out to any of your channel managers. We have great relationships with them to help you out, to get you scheduled for, for an installation tutorial that fits your time, and we can break it up however you would like. Uh, we're open to feedback and solicitation. You know, Hey, Frank, I really think you should train like this, or I think you should do this, or I need a one-on-one -on -one training. We're open, we're nimble, and we're agile. We're here for you. So just so I have this right, if, if we choose to do the install for the customer, are we only talking about physically installing the phones, daisy chaining, or whatever, or are we also responsible for provisioning the phones through your portal? Fantastic question. So you're responsible for the actual installation of the phones, configuration of the network, and training of the portals. The setup of the portals, auto attendance, call queues, configurations, all of that is done by our team specifically. There's too many things to break. I and mean, we're not in the business of hurting a business's phone system. Uh, we would end up coming over it and fixing a lot of it. None of that is handled by you. In terms of getting compensated for the installation, it's plugging in the phones, configuring the network, and training at least one individual in the business on the portal specifically. After that, a brief installation checklist will be instituted, customer signs off, you sign off that everything's been tested, and we're good to go. Payment comes after that. Move on. Okay, your customers have access to an oxygen customer billing, which allows them to call in the next to you very easily, they can do their auto pay, they can set up their accounts, and they can also see up-to-date minute usage. So it's delayed by one day. But you might say, my customer is going to be unhappy or they're going to be concerned because it's not unlimited. They don't know what their usage is. We're going to evaluate their bill, and we're going to see historically how many minutes they use. But if they're ever in a process where you know they have high volume that month and they're worried about running over on their minutes, they can look at their minutes a day back and make sure that they have enough. They can easily call in through the portal, whatever they would like, and add on those minutes to make sure that they're not getting surprised with the bill. That's one of the key differentiators for us to make sure that your customers aren't seeing surprises when the bill comes out. You talk about long distance minutes. Um, what do you consider to be long distance other than the question connection? Long distance is considered anywhere outside of our Tri-County area here. So outside of West Palm Beach, Miami, uh, Monroe. So it's it's not right at 460. It is right at 460. It is. It it's is all right. Okay. So you go all the way down to Key West then? Yes. All right, yes. So Key feet. West to Vero Beach. Vero Beach, so it's your standard. Outside of that, all of that is defined as Certainly long distance. Yeah. Yes. So 
Um, Javi is here. He's going to introduce you to WiMAX because he knows all the technical natures of it and the acronyms that I can't really fully get into. So. Uh, my name is Javier. I'm on charge of the WiMAX network uh, over the next week. As uh, Fran mentioned before, uh, we have been in the, in the market for the last 10 years, and we already provide internet via DSL, still ones, uh, fiber, with other, uh, using uh, different providers. But what we found in these last years is that we got a small gap between the customers when they don't have uh, a bandwidth capacity or uh, the customers when they, they need to split the bandwidth, so the data goes to one provider and the, the voice goes to, to another provider, try to, to, to get better performance. And uh, the customers that they need redundancy using uh, another provider in case that the, the business goes down, the internet goes down completely. So with all these three major uh, issues in the customers, we developed this network. This is our wireless network. Uh, using WiMAX technology. This technology has been in the market for the last 15 years, and they're going up and going up on technology and CPU faster and memory, and the price it goes down. Back in the days, to get a link, it's it going to cost you like $5,000 per, per point. So point A, point B, you're going to be $10,000 to put a, a link in there. Right now, it's very cheap, and uh, we create this network. Of course, the, in, the, in the point to develop the network, the number one uh, point will be create a mesh network. All, all, the, all the internet, all the towers that we got, they're running via fiber to a NAP of America when we have the colocation, we have all the servers, and we got all the tier ones connection with more than 10 providers, uh, Verizon, Sprint, uh, Global Cross, all them. And uh, we run fiber from tower to the customers. But at the same time, we need to create redundancy between, between those towers. So let's say we got um, South Miami, we got um, downtown, and we got Fort Lauderdale. All these three towers run fiber to, to an app, but at the same time, each tower is connected between. So if for some reason, all these fibers, they are point to point connection to an app using different providers, FPL, XO, Cogen, uh, um, Verizon. So if, if one of these fibers goes down to an app, the tower will automatically send the traffic to the next tower, and that is the way how we run. Of course, behind all that, we got router running OSPF, um, VLANs, and all, all the kind of or security uh, connections. Uh, number two issue that we have with the customers, re remember, we are a bring your own uh, bandwidth solution. So most of the customers, they can keep their own bandwidth, just install the phones, and running the system smoothly. But uh, in any VoIP uh, situation, number one will be quality of service. We need to create in the network the rules to, to move all the, the voice uh, packets, number one as priority number one, and then the data as priority number two. Most of the customers, they need to keep running the, the network. So the best way is separate the traffic, create a different path to the voice and a different path to the data. So no matter what you're doing, if, uh, we got a lot of customers that they do marketing, so they upload or download a, a huge amount of bandwidth, and they don't want to get latency in the in the video, of uploading or downloading the video. So the best way is to uh, run in the QoS and try to not affect the the, the 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 data side. That is why we came with a solution so we can install WiMAX in the customers, run all the phones over the WiMAX, and they keep their bandwidth whatever they have fiber only running for the, for the data. And the number three point will be uh, water, uh, the weather resistance. The point with weather, of course, this is a wireless link. This is data over here is exposed, the connection. Uh, visualizing like a running a cable over, over the city, you know? It's exposed. Uh, we, we, ha we are very picky on this, so there are a lot of solutions outside, uh, reference with the, with the bandwidth that we want to use. You can run uh, links behind uh, 900 megahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, 10 gigahertz, 24 gigahertz. All these bandwidths are they are public. Anyone can can go there and put it a bandwidth. We got our own licensed bandwidth inside the 5 gigahertz. When we try to keep it the the the, the smoothest as possible, of course, we got interference with uh, heavy rains, all that kind of thing. But we guarantee the link, 
So we can get even 85% or interference in the, in the link. The link will keep running smooth. Why? Because we're using the 5 gigahertz. We're using a max traffic in the antennas. So anything is designed to keep running in the, in the heavy rain or heavy storm that we have here uh, down in Miami. Actually, uh, in the last three years that we're running the network, uh, we never have an issue with rains or winds or nothing, except the storm, the hurricane that's coming now. So we keep it watching that. But um, most of the times, we don't have any issues related to, to weather. Of course, all the towers have, uh, they are designed to handle the winds by this, the cold. And uh, we got power in all the towers, we got battery, we got solar panels in some of them, so we can keep in that we lose power uh, in all the towers. That is why, in case of the installation, when, when we got a, uh, a customers uh, that they, they want to know if they be available, we need to, to submit a network assessment. So we send a technician to the site. We see, number one, uh, the we, we, we do some readers and we get the signal level that we got in the point. Number two, uh, structural, you know, we need to put an antenna in the roof in most of the case. So where we're gonna run the cable, like a direct TV or any, any technician. Uh, do we, we do assessment, we know how to run the cables, and we run the cables, it's included in the installation, we put an antenna, we run the cable from the antenna to the router communication, telephone, uh, closet, whatever they want to, to put in the router. In all the installation, we, uh, it's included one public IP address for, for the customers. That is included in, in any installation. We can put it uh, extra, uh, groups of three, five, or more IPs, depending on the customer's necessity. Well, what we do is, we install the antenna, we run the cable and put it a small uh, router in the customer premise, but that router is in bridge mode. To us, to management, the, the, the bandwidth, how much bandwidth, on that kind. So we offer a public IP, uh, so you put it a public IP in, in the customer router, whatever they, they, they want to use it. It's public IP, no, no block, anything. They got full control of the network. My router is only to control the antenna and to see any interference or something wrong with the antenna, I can troubleshoot the, the connection. Um, security on there, of course, this is an open link in there, but we use all the encryptation already designed for this kind of link. Uh, we got a security, a security um, point that most of the access point, uh, I don't know if you are familiar with this, but most of the access points, they, they got a, a good, uh, a big break, but it's a row access point. The point of row access point, you go to a Starbucks and you get free Wi-Fi, you connect to the Wi-Fi, but you don't know if you're really connected to the Starbucks access point or some hacker put an access point with the same SSID, he's connected to the Starbucks, right? But you are connected to the, to the hack access point. So you send all the traffic to the hack, the hack go to a Starbucks. So for you it's seamless, you don't see any, any problem, but he's sniffing all the packets. So he, he spent the day in the, in the parking lot getting all the park, all the traffic for everybody in the Starbucks. They go home and they can break the code and they get all the, all the, all the packet, all the traffic, all the side that you. How you can prevent that? You, you need to be in control of the customer antenna and the tower antenna. So the customer antenna only can talk to my tower antenna. My tower antenna only can send packet to the MAC address or the customer side. This is a security problem. Right now, the access point try to do with a, with a rogue access point. So the pricing which is shown here is with phones and without phones. Obviously, there's a discount with phones provided. You have a non-reoccurring cost of $349. Now, that can flex depending on the installation that's needed for the client. So it can go from $349. Usually, it's going to peak no more than $700. The majority of our clients fall between $350 and $500. Now, with that product specifically, uh, that's broken off of uh, three of the first month's bills. So they don't pay it all up front. It's instantly broken up into their three first payments to minimize the upfront fees that they're using. Could you hit the down key for me? But these are the prices, and we'll provide that for everybody. A 2020 for 199 without phones, a 1010 for 129 uh, and again, this comes with an SLS. <coughs> Static IP blocks. We'll skip through this, your customers can get them, uh, and we'll give you all the updated pricing with the presentation for the sake of time to, to help out. You guys IPv6 or 
Sorry? Are you IPv6 already? We are compatible with IPv6. We are ready to do it. And Kalia also, if you got any issue with one customer, they need to, to get out the packet without the certificate to, to run Kalia. Okay. okay. One back. All right, so basically to summarize, just go all the way down. Yeah, so, so basically why, why us? What differentiates us? One, you can bring our bandwidth at an affordable rate from $69.99 for a 5.5 from $169.99 for a uh, 2020. 100% customer support in the United States. We're in your backyard, we're here with both a direct sales force and with our entire customer support team. A full featured pricing model with no a la carte menu we offer also deals with AT&T and Verizon, for, so we run fantastic over any network, including Comcast, which is coming up next. Easy to use, easy to set up, and a churn rate below 2%, which gives you faith and confidence that your customers are going to be with us for the long haul. So we greatly thank you for your time.